Hey guys, um, interesting stuff. I was uh, looking for a Viper motor and we're doing some projects lately and uh, for, with our group. And um, I was driving home and I found the uh, kids electric car. And actually while I was driving I see them a lot on the street lately for some reason people just threw them away because it's a battery needs to be replaced or something happened with electronics but I'm assuming most of the time motors is fine and I guess we can use them for our projects and uh, basically it's a substitution for a wiper motor just give us uh, more options to work with and I really like it and uh, I'll show you some uh, stuff I did while I was researching okay so here's a, a car I found on the street it's a Barbie car as you can see or whatever it's a pink color and I pick it up and uh, I decided to take it apart and lately you see them a lot for, the, for some reason in my area and uh, people just getting rid of them because it's a uh, sometimes issue is battery needs to be replaced is expensive or people just gonna get a new toy for the kids and uh, the big the bulky and so people just threw, put them in the sidewalk so I picked one up and I took it apart inside I found uh, this baby so basically it's a high R high speed RPM motor it's a 12 volt and uh, polarity I think doesn't matter because it can go both directions you know the kids can drive forward and reverse so this motor works both ways and uh, when you hooked up to your uh, 12 volt uh, you just pick your direction just sw swap the wires and um, it has a uh, gears inside and because of that the high speed becomes a slow speed but with a high torque and I tell you that uh, I hooked up uh, my uh, PWM PVM uh, controller so to control the speed and hooked up to my uh, power supply probably gonna see lights uh, blinking because it's a uh, uh, frame rate doesn't match LED uh, refresh rate and please just don't look at my uh, workbench I'm doing lots of projects right now and um, so I hooked up uh, 12 volt power through the PWM uh, controller you can get them in the bay for like three five bucks you can get from China for a couple bucks uh, this one from China same thing and uh, fried props using a similar one for like 10 or 15 bucks uh, I like stuff from China with uh, for 15 bucks I can get uh, like a four or five maybe 10 of them okay it's me and uh, 12 volt uh, input 12 volt output to the motor and uh, what it does, uh, it gives you a nice torque and with less power consumption. As you know, if you can compare to the Viper motors, they are really uh, high torque, uh, but also they require 5 amp power supply. Advantage of it, if Viper motor can work from, I believe, from 5 volts to like a, almost a 20 volt average, a 12 volt we're using, but it required to be 5 amp good quality power supply. And even when you have a no load, uh, it's not loaded, just a free spin, it, 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 uh, it takes 5 amp from your power. This guy, when you turn it on right now, it doesn't have any um, load right now it's barely getting maybe half amp so right now you can see it has low speed you can control the speed with slow and the high okay i'm gonna make it lower so we can talk but with low speed you're getting only uh, 0.1 amp 0 0.1 that's a hundred mi hundred uh, milliamps okay and we get more in the, even on a high speed getting 1.6 uh, spike to 2 amp and when I put a load when I try to hold it it's in a slow speed believe me it's 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 really hard to stop that motor it has so much torque it, see okay it didn't break I'll tell you why because it's just uh, that's how it's mounted and even uh, when you put a high torque uh, I mean high tension with your even arms when you it's only jumping to maybe one amp one and two so basically this motor i believe can work uh with uh, easily can work with three amp power supply 
And uh, that's why I like. So basically it doesn't require 5 amp, which is sometimes hard to find for the Viper motor. It only requires probably 3 amp. And uh, give you hard torque. It's a little bit noisier, has a it's a little bit louder because I have a four uh, gear four gears inside, and it's a plastic gears. And the way you can mount your attachments, basically, uh, you can put a bolt through that end right here, and you can bolt it here, a bolt bolt through that will hold that hub inside, and that's how wheel was attached. So you can mount something here. You can uh, mount like an arm. Like, uh, that's your arm going to rotate this way, whatever. Or you can do, like, uh, I was playing around, you can do um, uh, attach a bicycle wheel or do your uh, other props. You can attach straight to here. Or you can remove that one. That stuff is rotating. So you can attach something to here. Uh, you can bend that plastic, make some attachments. You know what's good about it's a plastic, and it's much easier to work than attach something to the um, uh, Viper motor because that's some, that one you have to drill the hole. Sometimes you have to drill like two different sizes to put your arm to it. And um, so basically, it's not uh, for me. It's not substitution. It's just uh, different options to, I can work. And uh, it's if you compare the sizes, it's about the same. Okay, it's not big. It's much lighter for sure. It's about maybe like a couple pounds, this baby. But uh, Viper motor, it's about like four, five, about four pounds. Okay. So uh, just basically different alternative for our prop builders. If you want to experiment something like that, I like this one, and it's free. When you're driving around, you can see those uh, toys uh, laying around on the street and you just pick them up and uh, you can play around. So basically, it's, it's stuff is free. We like it. We always, you know, it's uh, enjoy and enjoy your hobby. See you guys.